Hello friends, in today's class we will be studying about current density and mobility. Well, current density and mobility forms the fundamental principles of how current transmission in semiconductors takes place. Let's start with mobility. Mobility when an electric field is applied across a solid, it accelerates the electrons in the direction of the electric field. Now, you know what an electric field is? Electric field is starting from the positive side and it terminates on the negative side. Well, to imagine this, you can consider this as positive plate and this is negative plate. So, if you draw imaginary lines from positive terminating to the negative, these blue colored lines are called as electric field. So, when an electric field is applied across a solid, it accelerates the electrons in the direction of the electric field. As electrons move through the solid, they undergo repetitive collisions with the atoms in the solid and therefore move with a steady velocity known as drift velocity, which is denoted as Vd. Now, as you know, if the electron is accelerated because of the electric field of course there won't be just a single electron but there would be the atoms of course the other electrons as well and hence this atom will continuously keep on colliding with those bodies and hence it will be moving with a steady velocity and that will be called as drift velocity basically drift velocity is the velocity by which an electron drifts when electric field is applied the drift velocity is proportional to the electric field. Of course, the stronger the electric field, more is the power to drive the electron in the direction of the electric field. So we can say that Vd is directly proportional to E, which means Vd is mu into E. This mu is nothing but as mobility. So, we define the electron mobility as the drift velocity of the electrons per unit electric field or basically mu is Vd by E. So, what is basically mobility? Mobility is defined as the drift velocity of electrons per unit electric field. Let's say suppose if I take the value as 10, it means my drift velocity is 10 meter per second when I am applying an electric field of one unit. It can also be given as mu is equals to sigma upon n into e. Sigma is known as conductivity. Well, conductivity we had already covered in the previous classes but still we will be covering in the next slide. So, make sure you use and remember this formula as well. Mu is sigma upon n into e where n is the number of electrons per meter cube it is also called as electron density but they have big importance in the numericals now a fact to note that mobility of electrons is always greater than the mobility of holes in general you can say that mobility of electrons is almost equal to thrice the mobility of the holes. This is a fact that you need to remember. Mobility of electrons is always greater than the mobility of the holes. Now, conductivity. Conductivity is defined as the reciprocal of resistivity. Well, these are just the prerequisites of the previous classes. Now, what is resistivity? Well, you know this. Conductivity is the reciprocal of the resistivity mathematically, but what is resistivity? Important point, conductivity we denote with as sigma and resistivity we denote with as rho. Now, let's recall the formula which we had already studied in your class 12. R is equal to rho into L by A. R is the resistance offered by a conductor. Rho is the resistivity, L is the length of the conductor and A is the area of the cross section. So if I imagine this to be my conductor, this is the length of the conductor L, let this area be A, resistivity of the material be Rho, so resistance is given as R is equal to Rho into L by A. 
similarly this rho is called as resistivity so i can say that resistivity or rho is nothing but as r into a by l using the relation that conductivity is reciprocal of the resistivity i can say my conductivity is l upon r a now let's talk about the si units we know that the si unit of resistance is ohms into area is meter square and length is meter so 1 m gets cancelled with this and therefore you get the unit as ohm into meter so ohm meter is the si unit for resistivity of course if you take the inverse si unit for this would be ohm meter the whole inverse it is also referred to as m h o this is not thing but as just the reverse of ohm into meter inverse this is the si unit of conductivity now let's study further well this completes the mobility part but what is the result of the mobility well there are always two things one is the cause and second is the effect cause is the mobility but what is the effect of mobility it is current now current is also defined as two different ways first is drift current and second is diffusion current we'll be talking about drift current first drift current when an electric field is applied across a metal conductor the free electrons in the conductor drift towards the positive terminal while the holes drift towards the negative terminal and the current flows through the conductor is called as drift current basically drift current is the current which we normally refer to as electric current or conventional current electron and holes from separate drift current components now as you can see if this is the conductor let's say suppose the red dots are the electrons and blue dots are the holes so electrons will be moving towards the positive side and holes will be moving towards the negative side in general you can say the electrons and holes would be moving in opposite side and of course both of them would be having different velocities and hence we say that electron and holes form separate drift current components total drift current density is given by we call this as j drift which is the drift of the total is nothing but as drift because of the electrons and drift because of the holes we add them together now this is the formula to know that ne mu e into e is nothing but as it is the drift current density for electron and this is the drift current density for the holes taking the common part e into e common we get this formula it's important to know this formula this is the formula for total drift current density drift current only occurs when external field is present across the solid well what if external field is not present well if external field is not present there would be no driving force for the electron and hence there would be no concept of drift current so important point drift current occurs only when an external field is present unlike in diffusion current which we will be studying in the next slide although electrons and holes move in opposite direction the direction of conventional current flow due to both the carriers is in the same direction it actually means that we always take the direction of the flow of current as conventional current but not the flow of the actual electrons now let's talk about the next diffusion current it is term applicable only to pn junction well why this is so we'll be studying from the definition there is a large concentration of holes and electrons in the pn junction region as we already know p is doped and n is doped individually when the pn junction is forward biased the holes from the p junction and the electrons from the n junction diffuse through the junction thus constituting the diffusion current let's understand this this is the diode this is the pn junction this is the p part and this is the n part and 
to P part I have applied a positive voltage and to N part I have applied a negative voltage. Initially, let's say suppose this was the forbidden gap. I have highlighted this. Now, this positive terminal and this negative terminal, this positive terminal will push the holes from the P terminal towards the N and this negative terminal will push the electrons from N terminal to the P terminal. Thereby, you can imagine this situation as the positive and the negative terminals of the battery are actually pushing the electrons and the holes to complete or to minimize the depletion region. This is the region why it is called as diffusion current. The electrons and holes diffuse into one another through a region. When the PN junction is forward biased, the holes from the P junction and electrons from the N junction diffuse through the junction, thus constituting the diffusion current. Make sure it is not drifting, this is just diffusion. In drifting, we have an external field and here we have an external field as well. But what if I remove the battery? Now, let's say, suppose, what if I remove the battery? If I remove the battery, then too, there would be small amount of current that would be flowing because of the difference in the concentration in P and N. Although that current would be very minimal, but yes, in theoretical terms, there would be some current. So, the total current density is given by J drift is equals to JE diff plus J diff, which is nothing but as E DE dn by dx plus minus of E dh dp by dx. dn by dx and dp by dx is nothing but as concentration gradients. And negative sign because of holes is this going in the opposite direction. So if you add them together, it will be E DE dn by dx minus E dh dp by dx. Drift and diffusion current coexist in semiconductors. Well, in semiconductors, it is an important point to note that drift current and the diffusion current coexist. It means they exist at the same time. So, if you want to find the total value of the current, you have to add the drift current as well as the diffusion current in case of a semiconductor. Thank you.